Um, so this is my electro-engineering, um, switching circuits project. It's nothing too special, but here it is. So basically, it's a 24-hour clock. So each button, let me, will increase it, right? Increase by the hour, and it will loop. Let's see here. It will loop back at 24 to 0. And same for the other one, 60, 60, it will loop. So we are going to put our tick frequency to two hertz since we use a two hertz frequency, two hertz ticker. We're gonna enable ticking and it is counting seconds on its own, one second at a time. Um, see over here, let's get it to loop around just so we could see that. So once this is gonna get to 59, it's going to reset the minute. It's gonna make the minute go up one, 15. Um, like the clock should, so let's just unable, unenable ticking, just so it's easier to explain. So as you can see here, there are three circuits and all of them consist of more circuits, as you can see on the left over here. So let's start off with the timer. Um, this timer is consisted of another three circuits, the seconds, the minutes, and the hour circuit. So it takes in clock, enable, second, minute, hour from the clock, and it will basically count for us. Um, the clock is only connected to the seconds, which I guess is important because the clock, the seconds will count. And then once the seconds overflow, it will send the overflow signal to the minutes. Um, basically it's just kind of cascaded and then it will output our stuff back into the, back into our clock. As I should mention, I did not mention this before, but it's consists of a top to take care of the top half and the bottom takes care of the top bottom half. Um, display just to make it look pretty so you can see here if we are to cut one of the connections the bottom half will cut out put it back in and like that so anyway timer has a second so we're going to go to our second minute um since second and minutes both are going to loop back at 59 we can use the same circuit for them um basically just a big truth table um takes in the clock takes in the enable and it just counts um we are using t flip-flop the T flip flop is going to delay the counting and is going to make it count at one second. It's like, it's an asynchronous clock. That's basically all it is over there. And it's going to output everything. It's going to output. Um, this is a binary number. So, I mean, if you can count a 60, you're going to need six digits and it has the overflow. And what this big AND gate at the bottom here is checking for, it is checking to see um, if is checking to see if it is at 59. So once it is at 59, then it will reset the timer. It will send the overflow signal. So it'll send the overflow signal and reset the timer to put it back to zero. And then it will send it to the minutes. And then it will go into the same circuit for the minutes since it counts to 59. When it goes to 59, it is going to, as you see, it is gonna go from seconds to minutes down to hours. So we have our hours here, same exact thing, except this time it's only counting to 12. And basically big AND gate at the bottom here, when it's at 12, it is going to reset overflow. So the whole timer is pretty much gonna be, I mean, to 24, it resets at 24. My apologies, 24 hour clock. And it resets the overflow at 24, whole clock gets wiped back to zero. And that is it for the timer. And then there is more. So as I said before, we have one part controlling the top, on part control on the bottom just to make it look cleaner. Oops, that was a mistake on my half. But here, so let's investigate the top. So basically, top takes in the hours, the minutes, and the seconds, right? Takes them in, change them, the wires change up, and then it will export them. So there's a lot of circuits here. Um, let's start with these circuits at the bottom, the digit tops. Um, basically, it just takes in the signals and tells the circuit how to output the seven segment display, but only for the top digits. So one for each digit. Um, that's why we have six of them over here. It will display the top half. And as you can guess this, it'll do the same for the bottom, but we use a different circuit just for the bottom half. And then we have our tens and our ones. So these two circuits are very similar. Basically it is going to take a binary number. Like let's say it takes in 10, one, zero, one, zero it'll the tens the 10 circuit will output 0001 because 
the tens digit is a one, so it knows to output the. It sends the one to the. It sends the one to the seven segment display basically, and is able to display the top half of the one. And the same goes for the one. So if you take in ten, it'll have one zero one zero. It'll output a one from the tens and output a zero for the ones. So basically, here you have the tens going down to the left digit and then the right digit for each number for each hour sec hour minutes and seconds. And it is the exact same for the bottom, but basically just kind of upside down. Pretty much the same thing. Once again, you can change everything, change up the wires. This is digit bot bottom for the bottom digit, obviously. Same thing as digit top, just reversed, pretty much. It'll output it for the bottom digit. And it will take in the tens and the ones just like we had before. And I believe that is all. Thank you for listening.